evening, happy Sabbath. Uh, this time we are, we are going to pray together, we are going to have a season of prayer. And uh, as we are going to surrender our life to God, let us open and be honest to God for anything that we have, that we fight for, anything that we struggle, anything. Let us surrender to God. But before we do that, I want to, uh, to share with you this quotation from Ellen White. Temptation often appear irresistible because through neglect of prayer and the study of the Bible, the tempted one cannot readily remember God's promise and meet Satan with the scripture weapons. Satan will know that all who he can lead to neglect prayer and searching of the scripture will be overcome by his attack. This is really scary me. If you neglect prayer, if you neglect prayer and you don't start the Bible, Satan know, knows that you will be, he will overcome you. So tonight, let's pray to God that he help us. He may give us a clear understanding of his words. And he help us to continue pray. Pray honestly. As we are going to pray, we are going to divide by partner. And I want, I want you to find your partner and pray together with him or with her. And I want also that you can share with your partner uh, something that's going on in your life. Maybe if you have a prayer request, you tell him or you tell her, and then each other, pray for each other, please. Um, I want to invite my brothers, Angolan guys there, to pray with my brother there also. Yes, thank you. Uh, so let us all kneel. And after, uh, before, the pray before we start praying, there will be a song and I invite my sister to come. Yes, uh, she will sing. And then after this song, we are going to pray. And after you pray, three minutes, I will end the prayer.
Holy Spirit of God, dwell in me and rule my life. Cast away every sin in my soul. Will you take a full control? Our Father in heaven, Lord, how great you are and how merciful you have been with us. And your words tell us that your mercy is renewed every morning. We wake up in the morning, we walk every day all during the day and you strengthen you give us strength and you take care of us and this is amazing us always how you take care of us so much and lord you take care of us you give us everything that we need but we we don't we don't please you we don't do what what you want for us to to do we don't live a life that you want us to live. We live by ourselves. We do what we please us. Father, we want to, to beg you that please have mercy upon us. Have mercy on us, Lord, and forgive us the way that we, we live our life, the way that we live the life you give us. We live this life with the proud and with the jealous and not with the humility. But your word told us that if my people humble themselves and come to me and pray together, I will hear them and I will heal the disease that is among them. Lord, we have a lack of your presence in our life and that's why we are not able to testify about you. That's why we are not able to, uh, to reach out other people, to show the light, to live the way that you want us to live. Please have mercy on us. We know that when we pray honestly, you listen to our prayer. Not because we are praying well, not because my words, they are sufficient to convince you. No, Lord, we don't have anything good on us. But we claim and we plead for your mercy, that you have mercy upon us, Father. In Jesus' name, that you give us the Holy Spirit, that he can empower us. He can give us strength, that we can walk and we can stand for the truth. We can stand to live the life that you want us. That we can overcome the devil who persecutes us, who hates us, who doesn't want us to. Uh, to live the life that you want us. Father, as we surrender our, our heart, you know each one of us in this room. You know the prayer of each one of us. And you listen and you know you read our heart. Please remove the pride that we have, the jealousy for each other. Remove the hatred that we have for each other. Forgive us all these things, Lord. And help us to be humble. Help us, Lord, to, to look to Jesus as the one who, from him, will receive all the riches from above. Father, please, help those people that doesn't even talk. Help us to realize that if we don't talk to each other, if we hate each other, we will not receive the Holy Spirit and we will not be able to fulfill your plan in our life. Thank you for the promise that you say that you, that you start the work in us and you will complete
accomplish and you will accomplish the work in us. Dear Lord, help us to have a, uh, a bless that we can only receive from Jesus. You told us in Hebrew that this is the time that we can come to you. This is the time of need, and we need you in our life, that we may glorify you. Our life, there is nonsense in our life without you. We cannot do anything without you. Please bless your church and fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may walk for Jesus, that we may speak for Jesus, that we may live for Jesus, that we may all Lord share, that we may shine for Jesus, that we may, in our word, we speak only Him. Dear Lord, we don't need university. We don't need our great need. It's not university. It's not great. It's not a thing that we are searching for, but we need the Holy Spirit that we can finish the work that you appoint us to do. Dear Lord, you can read our heart. And if you see anything evil in us that we didn't confess yet, from your daughters and son here in this room, you may cleanse us with the blood of Jesus Christ. You may empower us and deliver us from anything that bound us not to be close to you, anything that separates us from you, Deliver us, dear Father. We pray all this thing in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.